Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of NetAtWorks Sage X3 video series. Today we're going to be looking at our rebate management and tracking enhancement for Sage X3. This enhancement was developed specifically for our customers who in this case were distributors that were having trouble manually managing contracts between their suppliers and their customers. These contracts resulted in rebate claims uh, from our client back to their suppliers uh, for monies owed to them based on sales to the clients. This is an introduction uh, video and um, I'll be your guide today. My name is Ralph Ceccarelli and I'm one of NetAtWorks Sage X3 solution architects and sales engineers. And we'll be looking at the rebate tracking enhancement and how it works. So we're all familiar with rebates. And a rebate is simply a return of a portion of a purchase price by a seller to a buyer. And usually uh, that's on a purchase of a specific uh, quantity or value based on a promotion or a date range. And oftentimes these rebates are a way for the manufacturer to thank customers for their loyalty. Um, and uh, oftentimes the rebate is directly between the manufacturer and the end user or the consumer. So if you're buying a washing machine from your local appliance store, uh, you might get home and find that there's a rebate that you need to, uh, in order to collect on it, you need to mail that rebate into the supplier. Your appliance store really has nothing to do with the transaction. They're simply an intermediary uh, where you originally made the purchase, but the rebate is between the manufacturer and the uh, the end consumer. Uh, so this is an example of a front-end rebate and that's the type that we're all familiar with. But in some industries rebates have become a lot more complex. They're used in conjunction with creative incentive-based pricing tactics to allow businesses to become more competitive. Uh, one of these solutions is known as the back-end rebate and there are many examples of variables in these agreements. Uh, some are based on growth over a certain specified period, and others are based on a volume of uh, product sales or the value of a product sales. Uh, certain um, sometimes it's an incentive based on a uh, purchasing from a, a specific distribution center. Um, uh, but in, in all cases, these back-end rebate programs uh, require that the intermediary claims the rebate at the end of a billing cycle. Uh, so these rebate back-end rebates happen at the end of a sales cycle or promotion period. To illustrate this uh, concept, we're going to use the example of uh, the healthcare industry where a medical device manufacturer wants to sell their uh, products to a hospital or GPO, but the hospital or uh, GPO or group purchasing organization doesn't buy directly from the manufacturer. But in this case, the sales rep from the manufacturer will go directly to the hospital or GPO uh, to offer their incentives and then if they uh, come to an agreement, they will enter into a uh, contractual pricing agreement um, that's binding from both parties. Now, where this becomes complicated is when there is a uh, intermediary, such as a distributor, uh, put in the mix. The distributor might be purchasing products from the manufacturer, storing them into their warehouse, and they might be purchasing these at a list price or a higher price than what was negotiated with the, uh, with the hospital. The distributor, at a later date, will turn around and sell uh, it, those products to that hospital or group purchasing organization as needed. Now, the distributor needs to maintain uh, knowledge of these agreements and respect all pricing agreements. Oftentimes, the distributor is selling to the hospital at a loss because they've purchased from the manufacturer at an earlier date with a higher uh, valued price. The distributor then, at the end of a billing cycle or promotion period, puts in a claim to the vendor uh, or the manufacturer for uh, the rebates due in order to make the distributor whole and to maximize his profit margin. Now, this becomes much more complicated when there are multiple uh, customers and multiple suppliers. So if the distributor is buying from many suppliers and selling to many customers, then the intermediary needs to maintain a whole variety of these contracts and date ranges and incentive-based programs um, 
and SKUs that are affected by these programs. Sometimes these contracts might overlap each other, and this is where it becomes uh, complicated for the distributor to manage all of these contracts and keep those rebate claims uh, in order. So what is the problem with these back-end rebate programs? Well, managing back-end rebates can be a huge obstacle in realizing the true profit uh, margins between your customers and your vendors. If you're the distributor, managing programs becomes a manual process, often done in Excel, uh, with large resources spent reconciling the sales of the product lines included in these programs with the rebate claims and manually calculating the value of the claim itself. And, uh, and because these things are done manually, they're very prone to human error. And that becomes a real concern because it could negatively impact the profit margins. Even a small, uh, uh, a small error in the calculation uh, can uh, result in disputes with the supplier, uh, oftentimes slowing cash flow and causing uh, inaccurate accruals and other errors. As we were designing this with our uh, clients, we uh, noticed that oftentimes they were saying that uh, other products seem to claim that they do rebate tracking or rebate management. And uh, oftentimes these ER other ERP solutions do manage rebates, but oftentimes it's just a in unidirectional, meaning that uh, if the distributor is offering a rebate to their customer, um, it's based on the selling price, a rebate off the selling price, or if the supplier is offering a rebate to the distributor, it's, it's on the purchase uh, cost. But rarely is it between a contract from the supplier directly with the customer and having to understand both sides of that equation. Um, now, there are software solutions that do provide similar functionality, uh, but oftentimes these are third-party providers and actually wrote this functionality as a standalone program and then built a bridge or an integration with the ERP system. And because of this integration, um, these rebates are often calculated off-system. They require some kind of export-import, and they don't, do, uh, they don't integrate with the accounting modules in real time so that there is no uh, real uh, uh, kind of constant management of these accruals and, uh, and, and, and reflection of that uh, right at the uh, uh, sales process within the ERP system. So in order to solve for this, uh, we built an enhancement uh, using all of the Sage X3 development platform tools. And uh, our solution provides the ability to set up these rebate agreements between the suppliers and the customers and calculate and report these rebates uh, on the sales and purchase transactions and generate claims that book the financial uh, impact, uh, managing the accruals and giving you control and a holistic view of the entire process. Let's jump to an actual Sage X3 environment and demonstrate that. So here we are in a working environment, uh, an X3 that has our rebate tracking enhancement built in. And you can see that we've created a process flow describing how the uh, data flows within the system from quote uh, through to order, through to delivery, to the invoice side, and even to the rebate creation and eventual credit memo uh, to the supplier. Now, we can go through all of these in detail in a subsequent video or in a deeper dive one-on-one uh, -on -one demo, but because this is an introduction, I just wanted to highlight certain features, uh, specifically the supplier contract, customer contract, eligibility list, and the in, uh, uh, rebate creation. So. Our supplier contract is simply a supplier price list. Now, of course, X3 offers uh, supplier price lists, but they don't have uh, the option of having validity dates at the detail level uh, at, tied to the product. So here we can create different types of agreements. We can have different chargeback options. And a purchase cost type of agreement is what I'm paying, the, the, the cost that I'm paying to the supplier for. But if the supplier has a agreement with a hospital or a uh, GPO, they might offer me a different cost uh, within a, a certain amount of dates uh, if I buy within a certain amount of, uh, of quantities. And I might have overlapping agreements because this manufacturer might have different GPO agreements at the same time with different hospitals.
the customer contract is again a customer price list but again we have the type of agreement and we have the validity dates at the uh, detail level uh, tied specifically to the product the quantity break and the selling price so our supplier contracts and our customer contracts are tied together via an eligibility list where we can tie what we're paying to the supplier the agreed upon uh, agreement uh, and the uh, contract code with the customer that is eligible for that contract. The fact that those two agreements are tied together means that at any point in the sales cycle, whether I'm at a quote, a sales order level, a delivery, or an invoice, the system will always look for the most uh, uh, lucrative contract and if I go to the uh, detail of the line levels here, I can see that I'm uh, uh, keeping track of the rebate cost, uh, the contract code, the type of agreement, uh, the contract ID, who the supplier is. So all of the information tied to those contracts is going to be uh, retained at the invoice uh, and, and sales level. And we can see that I we also have a functionality that at any point, if the system um, needs to, we can recalculate rebates and uh, figure out again what is our most profitable contract to apply to this transaction. At the point of invoicing, the system will get whatever uh, rebate was calculated at that final step and create individual rebates for those suppliers. If we look up a given supplier, we can track his claimed or unclaimed rebates. In this case, we've posted everything, so we have claimed rebates. If I do a search, I'll see all of the rebates uh, that have been uh, calculated and claimed and accrued for this given supplier. We also have the functionality that if the supplier requires you to send them a report and they approve those rebates and then send those back to you, you can uh, uh, uncheck the ones that were not approved before you generate the uh, before you generate the credit memo to the supplier so you are it ensures that you are in agreement that you and the supplier are in agreement with what rebate you are claiming based on that the system will generate the credit memos and finally, we also have a rebate stock control. So we manage stock at the vendor level. Uh, so if you buy the same SKU from multiple suppliers, our enhancement is going to track the quantities that you have for that given supplier. The, this way, if you claim uh, more than you purchase from a supplier within a given date range, the system will ensure that you're not claiming uh, rebates from a supplier when, when you're actually uh, using inventory that you've bought from a different supplier. So hopefully that gave you a nice introduction into the functionality of our rebate management and tracking solution. Obviously, we can dive a lot deeper into that, and that will do in either subsequent videos or when you reach out to us. But in summary, uh, these are some of the bullet points of our core features of our enhancement. Uh, the ability to recalculate rebates when those rebates are modified or backdated. The automation of tracking the purchases and sales against these contracts. Uh, the automatic recording of the accruals. Uh, the invoicing and supplier debits. Uh, we, ha we offer extensive and granular reporting. We have a reliable and extensive audit trail system. Uh, we can track history and revision of contracts with suppliers. Uh, we have in internal approval workflows uh, with an integrated external trading partner sign-off. We can track rebates given for items sold and track multiple eligible contracts per product. We can define priority and automatically select the most lucrative contract based on eligibility. We can calculate the impact of those rebates on sales profits. We can calculate those claims using various calculation methods. And we automate the creation of those claims to the supplier based on a number of parameters. Again, thank you for attending. And if you'd like to know more or see a personalized demo of our rebate management and tracking enhancement, please feel free to contact us at the number below. Thank you very much.